Hi everybody, it's Olivia Blanchard, the brand builder, and today I'm in Kirtaline, Idaho for uh, a quick little three-hour training tonight in, uh, in a really cool Kirtaline resort, which is uh, pretty phenomenal looking. Uh, as you can see, there's, uh, there's a lot of boating and water, cool stuff going on. But anyway, uh, what I wanted to talk about, since I'm going to spend the next three and a half hours on stage in front of a, a room full of people, is if you're a social media consultant, a social media speaker, or a speaker of any kind really, it's, it's kind of important to realize every once in a while that even though you're paid to speak, you're also paid to listen as well. And it's something that we tend to forget to do. Um, I know it for myself, I'm constantly asked to put together content, to deliver content, to explain things, uh, to put together presentations, to post them on SlideShare, etc. It's content, content, content. But really the, the true magic, I think, of a lot of speaking engagements or engagements no matter what they are is the dialogue the, the the true conversations that you can have with people from the stage out into the audience uh and i talked about how that's one of the things i like about the soho biz tube stuff like the ungeeked uh event that's coming up in uh, in milwaukee in may but here i'm going to be in front of you know probably about 100 150 people on stage and i don't want to be the only one talking and I'm assuming that most of the people in there don't want to listen to me for three hours. So I'm starting to build in a lot more Q&A, a lot more um, conversational and interactive aspects uh, to, uh, or elements rather, to my presentations. And I invite you guys to do the same. We, we talk about dialogue a lot as an online thing. That we have conversations through the blogs, we have conversations through Twitter, on Facebook, etc. But don't hesitate just because you're on stage to go ahead and do that there as well. Uh, make sure that the event organizers have a couple of spare mics if the event is big enough or if they're recording it so that somebody can, can hand the mics or pass them around the, uh, the audience and really engage the audience. Really try to draw the questions from them. If they don't have any questions or they're too shy to ask them, ask them questions. I learn more from asking crowds questions about their social media usage, their marketing usage, their media usage than I do from reading a bunch of studies done by consultants and, you know, quote-unquote experts remotely. You know, it's really interesting to get the context and to find out from the horse's mouth why people do something, why they don't do something, why something might be hard to understand, why something might be easy to understand. It's, it's really a great learning experience. So that's it. I've got to go in there and uh, deliver. So take care. Bye-bye.